The Wags of England's World Cup squad have shared their support for their boys in Qatar in their clash against USA tonight. The wives, girlfriends, and glamorous family members of the England team have been living it up in the Middle Eastern country since they landed there last week, and the supportive women have been treating their Instagram followers to a glimpse inside their luxury celebrations as England battle it out in the FIFA World Cup. Ahead of England's hotly anticipated game against the USA on Friday, wags including Harry Kane's wife Kate, and Georgia Irwin, the doting fiancé of Arsenal's Aaron Ramsdale, shared snippets of their glamorous stay in Qatar as they cheered on their boys. Kate shared a sweet snap of her and Harry's kids lapping up the sights of Qatar before they headed into the stadium. Meanwhile, Georgia snapped a gorgeous mirror selfie which saw her pose in a bright yellow jersey with her fiancé surname on the back. Elsewhere, Paige Millian, the proud girlfriend of Raheem Sterling, shared a gorgeous snap of herself looking excited while making her way into the stadium. Paige also treated her Instagram followers to a glimpse of the couple's son, Tiago, 5 sporting a full England get-up, face paint included. The brunette bombshell also posted videos during the game, as she sat in the front seats while cheering on her bow. Jack Grealish's girlfriend Sasha Atwood, meanwhile, joined his sister Holly to watch the match unfold. Back home, Colleen Rooney is also celebrating the Friday night game, the mom of four, 36, ensured that her and Wayne's boys were all prepared for the big game against the U.S. as she laid out all of their England jerseys on the sofa for their return from school. Ready for after school, she captioned the sweet snap. Meanwhile, BBC Sports correspondent Natalie Pikes looked gorgeous in a purple and red leopard print dress as she prepared to report on the game. Ahead of kickoff tonight, Natalie found herself in a hostile situation when her co-worker, a BBC cameraman was refused entry to stadium for wearing rainbow-colored Apple Watch strap. The BBC cameraman is said to have been initially refused entry to Albate Stadium, where England are facing USA. Apparently, because his Apple Watch strap bore a design associated with the LGBTQ community, the BBC cameraman was refused entry. According to BBC Sports correspondent Natalie Pierks, her colleague was eventually allowed in after they called a hotline set up for TV crews experiencing problems. Thankfully, things were less stressful back home as England fans got into the spirit of things. England supporters were pictured enjoying a beer or two at Central Park in Newcastle as they lapped up the build-up to tonight's World Cup match against US. Blonde beauty Veronica Grabowska, 20, held her arms up in celebration as she soaked up the atmosphere. After landing in Qatar last week, the lucky wags were whisked to the MSC World Europa, a luxury cruise liner which has been labeled as a floating palace. The luxury location is hosting the wags for the duration of the tournament. The incredible £1 billion cruise liner, which usually costs £2,434, 80 for 9 nights, will remain at Doha port ready to accommodate the footballers' families. There's no chance of the WAGs or their families getting bored while in Qatar, as their luxury accommodation boasts endless facilities including beauty salons, boutiques, 14 ocean view jacuzzis and a dry slide called the Venom Drop. On board the swanky ship, Terry's also a sprawling shopping mall, a roller disco rink and a number of clubs for children to their little ones entertained. 
Although it will be all fun and games for the players' wives and partners, unfortunately, the members of the England team won't get a chance to join in on the excitement as they are set to form their own strict COVID bubble at the Sukhawakra Hotel in Doha. In Qatar, there are strict alcohol rules meaning that those attending the games are forbidden from consuming alcohol. However, because the MSC World Europa is offshore, the WAGs is on board can down the drinks without any repercussions, 